Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Multi Vendor Marketplace plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you few of the functionalities that we have just incorporated within the Multi Vendor Marketplace plugin under the uh, sellers panel. So, to start with, as we know that running a business or a store is not that easy as it looks, and maintaining the records for proper earnings and profits at a regular time duration is really important for the sellers of the multi window marketplace so we have introduced this feature using which now the marketplace sellers can view their total earnings in terms of days months and years the details are visible in the form of a graph and under that a table grid is visible that shows the associated details like the orders accounts earnings and uh, the admin amount etc hence the main vendors can now fetch the details as required for their earnings in terms of days months and years so let me take you to the web store front end and let me log in as a marketplace seller first and thereafter i'll be showing you how the sellers can check their earnings under their own account panel so here I am at the uh, web store front end. So I'll be tapping on the sign in link here and uh, I'll be entering my username, that's my email and my password. So I also log into my seller panel. So right now you can see that I've uh, logged into my seller panel. So from here I can navigate to my account section. And on the left hand side, you can see right now that uh, we have our marketplace uh, block uh, wherein we have the different options of the marketplace so uh, for example now uh, we have added this particular earnings sub menu option under the marketplace block itself and from here the sellers would be able to check their earnings that they've earned uh, so let me tap that up and tapping the earnings button or the link here opens up this sections this particular section where the sellers would be able to filter the earnings and can check their reports according to the period so the period here can be a day month or a year so if you select a day then you can tap on the show report to view that particular report so uh, right now you can see that um, uh, under this particular graph we also have this uh, particular table that shows the interval uh, when the earnings have been made the total number of orders that have been placed that day the total amount total earnings total discounts that have been given to the customers and the admins commission has also been uh, set up here as you can see so now the uh, sellers can uh, filter their earnings uh, according to month and year as well so if a seller chooses this as a month then the seller needs to select the dates of uh, dates from and to between which he wants to uh, check the earnings so from 2 to 29th and we can tap on the show report button and this would bring up uh, the complete details uh, for that particular uh, time period so right now as I've only placed one order, two orders and that two for today. So that's why uh, it's only showing one here and within the graph as well. And similarly, the sellers can also choose the year and uh, can select the details here for the, for the year. And, uh, and after choosing the year, they can tap on the show report button to filter all the earnings for the uh, particular year. So here you can see that uh, the interval shown is for 2020 and for 2020 the total uh, number of orders have been placed as two the total amount total earnings total discount and the admin commission has been shown as well so that's how a uh, seller can check the total earnings for the period of a complete year and uh, for a month by choosing the uh, dates for uh, the start of the month and up to which he wants to check in that particular month so for example if it uh, the seller wants to check the earnings for the month of January and he wants to check it uh, for example he wants to go from the 12th of uh, the month or up till 29th of the month 
and that way he can tap the show report button that after thereafter and that would display the complete uh, uh, graph here according to the earnings that the uh, seller has uh, uh, done and uh, under the interval also he can find the complete details in a tabular format as well so that was how the uh, sellers would be able to check their earnings under their own uh, marketplace block within the Magento 2 multi vendor marketplace by webcool so apart from this feature uh, uh, i'll be showing you one another feature wherein the um, multi vendor marketplace admin would be able to assign the products to the sellers from the product edit page so for that i'll be taking you to the admin backend panel first so i'll be logging into my admin backend panel by tapping in the sign in button all right i'll just tap it once more so I've logged into my backend admin panel for the multi vendor marketplace by web pool. So now what I'll do is I'll navigate through catalog and products. So only those products can be assigned from the product edit page that have not yet been assigned to any of the sellers. So for now, for example, I'll be showing you this particular uh, product that we have as the just double back. So I'll be tapping on the edit button edit link for this particular product. And this brings up the edit product page for the chosen product that's the just duffel bag now what we need to do is we just need to scroll down a bit and here we have this section uh, with the heading product cell product seller so here the admin can choose the seller to whom the admin wants to assign this particular product so what we'll be doing we'll be assigning this one to demo web cool so that's the seller we were uh, with the, who in whose account we were just a few moments uh, ago uh, where we checked the earnings section under the marketplace so i'll tap the save button now uh, the admin has uh, assigned this particular product from its product edit page to the marketplace seller so now let me go to the my product list for this uh, seller so now you can see that we already had one uh, product there and now uh, the admin assigned uh, product can be seen within the marketplace product list for this particular seller's my product list section and here we have the just double bag so this was the uh, sec second functionality uh, apart from the one uh, that we have already explained to you the earnings was the first one and the other was uh, what we say as assigning the product to the sellers from the product edit page by selecting the seller under the product seller section so uh, lastly now I'll uh, show you how uh, the uh, sellers would be able to filter their products so for that what I'll do first is I'll go to the backend panel and here I'll be th uh, navigating through stores and configuration so what I'll be doing is I'll be going to the marketplace configuration settings here under the web cool block and for the seller dashboard layout i'll be choosing this as a yes and i'll be tapping the save configuration button now what this does is that it uh, displays the seller with a different uh, uh, vendor dashboard wherein uh, the seller is all uh, only able to check the vendor uh, options so i'll just show you this particular marketplace block or would be uh, uh, would uh, get away from here so what i'll do is i'll just change my so I've just refreshed the page now you can see that the uh, uh, seller can view his particular dashboard it's a different dashboard just like the admin so here uh, the uh, seller can see the orders products customers and the other details so again here you can see the earnings uh, sub uh, menu option here on the left hand side panel for this particular seller and uh, we can navigate to that and we can see the bar graph and the tabular format of the earnings so now uh, let's see how the products uh, basically so uh, can be uh, filtered so we'll go through products and then all products for this particular seller so uh, from the actions drop down we can uh, choose to delete this so we'll go to the filters section so uh, from the product status we can uh, choose uh, the products that are enabled so we can uh, filter the enabled products disabled products apart from that we can also check uh, the products 
that have been approved or disapproved or denied by the admin so uh, for example uh, if we are uh, right now we have only two products so uh, what we can do is for example if we want to see uh, our approved products we can tap approved and uh, we can apply the filter so active filter you can see that we have the approved active filter is running right now now let me go to filters again let me choose disapproved let me apply that particular filter so right now there are no products that have been uh, disapproved by the uh, web store admin and lastly we can also choose uh, the products that have been denied by the admin so i'll apply the denied filter so right now no uh, products have been denied by the admin himself so uh, that was much about the uh, updated features that have uh, been just added to the multi vendor marketplace for the magento 2 platform by webcool and i hope these uh, three features helped you out uh, to understand how the functionality works and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular module then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uedes.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead